Like, who do you think I am? I'm not about to be driving you around. Um, sir. <laughs> to another video if you're new here my name is Kyra do not forget to like comment and subscribe and I'm gonna wait for you to subscribe because half y'all aren't even subscribed so make sure you hit that red button so today we are just going to be doing like a little chit chat you're ready with me and I just want to talk about things that I just want to share with you guys and also just things in life that's going on in general I'm just gonna do like a flawless effortless beat that I love to do on an everyday basis and speaking of effortless let's get into this hoodie such an effortless piece it's so soft this is my cashmere fisherman hoodie from jenny kane and if you don't know what jenny kane is they are a california based brand where they inspire women to live well every single day when it comes to effortless pieces in your wardrobe or just all things that make a house a home the quality of jenny kane is amazing literally i love quality over quantity and if you aren't new you know i am very big on that i know this is going to last me forever because i know i'm going to live in it this fall season and they don't even just have pieces just for the fall season they have pieces for any season overall to incorporate into your wardrobe it's so effortless so breathable and so easy just to have an effortless sleigh i styled with these lounge pants that i have on right now and then also i've styled it with jeans before and it's just an effortless piece to add to your wardrobe so you can like i said have an effortless sleigh and jenny kane also has rewards an exclusive purse to earn up to 10 percent back on all your purchases so make sure you join today so you'll be able to get 100 points on your rewards so you'll be able to find your forever pieces at jennykane.com all you need to do is click my link down below and you'll be able to use my promo code kyra to save 15 percent off your first order on jennykane.com and that's j-e-n-n-i-k-a-y-n-e Com. So thank you so much Jenny Kane for sponsoring this video. I know I'm going to be loving this piece all fall long and I'm definitely going to be returning back to get some more purchases. So I'm super excited. So thank you so much Jenny Kane for sponsoring this video and we are just going to hop right into it. So let's get started. People are just so rude. So we are going to get started into this get ready with me. I'm on my way to get on a flight. Y'all will see where I'm at. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. So we are just going to get started. I'm just going to do like my everyday no foundation, tinted moisturizer, clean girl aesthetics. Just kidding. <laughs> my everyday no foundation. So yeah, for oily skin, because I've really been taking the time out to find steps that work for me and my face. We're gonna talk, we're gonna chat because I haven't talked to y'all in a minute and I just wanna, you know, talk about some things that's been going on in my life and then other things that's just been happening in the world. So we are just gonna get started because I got a flight to catch. So let's get to going. That pressure is getting worse. So we're gonna prep our skin and I'm just gonna take this Laura Mercier. This is their new translucent powder. Before I even go in with anything, actually no, I'm gonna color correct first because I've been in to color correct now because girl, I've been suffering from post. So I've been obsessed with me. I'm just gonna color correct first and then I'm going to set my face. I'm just going in with this color correct because I had got a treatment done. My face is getting back to normal um, as far as like the scarring goes and the post hyperpigmentation. There was a mark on my face and it looked like I had sunscreen, girl. It was really traumatizing, I'm not gonna lie. Because I've never had something so drastically scar my face. And I don't like wearing makeup every single day, so I have to do a little bit of concealer all the time. I didn't want to. I just wanted to just wear my skin, but I just felt like if I was going somewhere important or meeting somebody, I would have to put a little bit of foundation or something on, but it's okay because it's coming back together. Now I'm just going to take some of this Laura Mercier and I'm just going to set my face. Put the powder on first. And this is for my oily girls. This is what I like to do. I like to put powder on my face before I even apply my tinted moisturizer. 
because I get so oily and this just locks everything in. The key to you no know, makeup makeup looks are your skin. So I just really like to focus on my skin. I really don't do too much to my eyes. So this is going to be like skin based. I've really been loving this is the matte. MAC Fix Plus Stay Over. This is their new formula. Y'all, when I tell you my makeup, when I set my makeup with this, when I'm going out, my makeup is sitting. I need to get that. I'm just gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Mist. Normally, I would go in with the Fenty Liquid Kilowatt, but y'all, I'm so irresponsible. I don't know where my, oh, it may come out but I don't want it to splash everywhere. I just got this refined gloss highlighter in tops. Topaz, let me see what this is giving. Cause I really just like to have a liquid highlight under my um, tinted moisturizer. <laughs> Y'all, I forgot to put my second light on cause it was really like, I'm like, what is missing? What is missing? So now I'm just gonna go in with the Chanel and the Laura Mercier mixed together this is in the color 20 and this is in the color well the shade b70 these come in there's like two different kinds of the chanel le Bias, um water skin tint so yeah how are y'all how is everything going are y'all okay it is mercury retrograde right now bro everything is just going in shambles right now everything is just exposing itself the universe is definitely giving us a wake-up call but it's okay though because guess what you're Girl is in therapy and yes I started therapy because I just needed to take a professional approach when it comes to my mental health and mental health is so important do not brush off your mental health if you are not okay you need to take care of that you need to take a step back and take care of your mental health it's just so important and that's where i'm at in my life right now my mental health is so important to me i don't really care about anything else or anybody else i just care about me and where i want to be mentally it's going great so far i'm still it's still a work in progress this is not overnight i just told her all the goals that i want to accomplish you know i want to be able to let go of things that no longer serve me i'm up the type of person that i will give a person chance after chance after chance i just can't let that person go because that's what i'm familiar with it's so hard for me to let go of things i'm familiar with even though it hurts me it's toxic but this is familiar and it's so hard for me to let things go that no longer serve me so i'm like listen i don't want to be this person i need to get control over my mental health and who is coming in and out of my life i need to get into control this is my life and i'm not about to keep compromising my happiness for other people of course i have my moments where i'm like on a happy high but then i get in these moods where i'm not happy they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never like i'm not happy what is going wrong and i just get these feelings and emotions i just can't i can't function i can't work and i don't want to live like that i don't want to live like that i want to be in control and i know want to know the steps to take when i do feel in those moments of course i do like self-care and stuff when i do get myself down but i need to learn how to let go of things that no longer serve me because that's really the biggest toll that's really been making me feel the type of way i've been feeling now that this is all blended out i'm just gonna go in with the closest concealer in the color 05w and um, that's what we're working on i'm obviously still out here in the egg i'm still new i'm still learning unfamiliar things and it's so hard for me to just change is so hard change is so hard especially for me i'm very i'm a very loyal person so so I just feel like I gotta be loyal to people who don't even give a fuck about me and it's so fucked up like it's so fucked up and I hate that I do that to myself that's why us women we tend to go back to toxic things because we're familiar it's the familiar feeling it's scary change is scary talking to a new person is scary letting go of toxic things are scary even though of course it's supposed to we're supposed to let go of toxic it's not healthy but it just gives us that familiar feeling of comfort of just a warmness inside that it's just unexplainable and with my therapy sessions i would literally reschedule all the time i'm like i don't want to go because <laughs> i know she's going to tell me like listen you can't be acting like this you can't and i know she was going to make me change and me changing the thought of me changing was scaring me 
but it's something I needed to do. Change is so scary. So we can't live in fear. We have to fight this feeling of change being a scary feeling and we have to do it. And I, I have to do it like this. I have to be better. Like I want kids. I want to teach them shit. I want kids. I want to, I want a husband. I want a mature husband and I cannot be playing these childish ass games with him. So basically with all this being said, I really just want to take control over my life and disrupt my happiness. And if they are disrupting my happiness, I should be able to cut them off. I am not that type of person yet, but I will get there. It's not even about the end goal. It's just about the journey. There was a lot of things that I told her I wanted to work on, especially when it comes to communicating. Where I'm from has influenced me on how I communicated with others when coming out here. It would be bad. I wouldn't, <laughs> I, it would be bad communication. I just had to self reflect and be like, that is not okay. It's not cute because I would give off this masculine energy where I had to be tough just not given the approach that i wanted to be in this current moment because it's not cute it's not healthy it's not attractive i just want to come be softer more delicate and i want my reactions to be better i'm gonna give y'all a little story time so i had the worst uber driver the other day it was so bad the worst uber driver i've ever had experienced so far in atlanta um, I was coming from I think my hair appointment because I don't drive there anyways that's besides the point I'm in an Uber and I'm like hey um can you stop by Starbucks any any person any Uber driver that I had I've always asked them hey can you stop at Starbucks literally if I'm craving it and I'm in a mood to ask I will ask and they'll gladly you know take me leave them a tip on the app or I'll cash up them a tip so this person was so evil y'all he was like who do you think i am i'm not about to be driving you around um sir that's why you're on the app <laughs> that's why you're on the app sir and i was just like you know what have a good day i'm gonna pray for you because normally i would be like but now i'm just like I hope you have a better day. I'm gonna pray for you. That's just how I want to react in this current moment. And also, I had an um, encounter at the Apple store. And y'all know, if y'all see my previous vlog, my phone was so shattered, it's broken. Couldn't receive any text, nothing. Blacked out screen. Go to the Apple store, right? She's like, oh, we sent you a text a long time ago with a little attitude. Something in me, who I always get this feeling. Y'all know y'all get that defensive feeling inside when somebody just comes to you and talks to you. Like they got you up don't talk to me like that i'm a grown woman you're a grown woman i don't know why you have an attitude this is the job that you chose so don't come at me as such you know what i'm saying so she had the worst attitude but i'm like you know what i was like oh um my phone shattered i i wasn't able to get your text and i said it nice but i still had that feeling inside that i wanted to like i wanted to react like that so bad i had a feeling but i'm like what's up I need to work on breathing practices or something. But yeah, I had to take a step back and I was like, oh, your nails are cute. She's like, oh, thank you. Just stuff like that is just like a different, it's just a different approach that I want to keep taking. You know, sometimes people do be having you effed up, but you know what? You just got to simply, you don't have to respond with masculine energy attitude. And like I said, where I'm from was influenced on how I reacted because sometimes I would have to be on the defense sometimes. I just want to show up for myself every single day and put effort into changing because we want all these people to show up for us we want everybody to show up for us but how can we attract that energy from other people if we don't even give it to ourselves you know what i'm saying i have i really had to talk to myself like Kyra, you want this all for you but you're not even doing it yourself you're not so make it make sense <laughs> I do get in my feelings sometimes i do have to take a step back when it comes to my mental health um i say off the internet i just get in tune to what makes me happy i know i say this a lot but mental health is so important people are taking their lives because they just feel like their li their life is worthless and it's so heartbreaking to literally think about why do why do i keep crying on fucking camera <laughs> No, I'm getting emotional because I know it's somebody watching this video not okay. Because I had so many moments of not being okay. But I'm thankful that I have friends that, you know, reach out to me and are like, hey, I haven't heard from you. What's going on? 
or I'm, obviously my mom will check up on me and stuff like that but it's the people out here that really don't have anybody and I get in my moments where I just feel like I don't have anybody here I'm by myself like I just get in my head but I know I have people that love and care about me but I just get in my head like nobody gives a fuck and sometimes I would get in my feelings that I'm not valued as a person and you think like damn what's the, what's wrong with me like nobody values me like nobody cares hold on i gotta fix this i just got a little emotional because i think that we get in our feelings well i get in my feelings that i don't feel valued because it's not coming from the person that i want to feel valued from so that's why i get these emotions it's just in the moments you think that it's not going to get better but it's nothing going to be i'm so sorry i'm so happy i didn't set my makeup yet for contour i just went in with my charlotte silberry contour one that's the journey that i'm on right now i'm just working on things for myself i do believe in god i do believe he is watching over us and you know giving us our blessings sometimes i question like why like why hasn't certain things happen to me or anything like that but and then i've lost a lot of people too i lost a lot of people that obviously i thought would be in my life forever and they're just not sometimes we have to let that part of our life go god is like i'm not i'm not giving you this until you let this go i'm not giving it to you until you let this go did i get my fucking lashes wet y'all the ritual great that i'm crying on here so I just did nose contour with a Mindy's by NARS. I'm gonna blend that in with my beauty blender. So then I'm gonna go in with the NARS Orgasm and then also the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in Happy. Next subject, I just want y'all to be okay. Take care of your mental health because it's important. This is so pretty, oh my God. I love blush. Y'all, I'm so excited for The Little Mermaid. I'm so excited. Halle Berry's gonna kill it. I seen the leaked little preview they had on TikTok. Somebody leaked like a, a little clip. She's gonna do so good. And I don't, I've never seen any negative like actual comments on TikTok or anything like that. Like, oh, Ariel's black. Ariel's gonna be black. Hello, it's 2022. Get with the program. We are, we matter. We matter too. It's important for the youth at this day and age to know that they are attainable of being a princess, magical. They should know that it's attainable because obviously us, we grew up watching, you know, the original area, you know, pale skin. It wasn't anything dark about any of the princesses in the Disney fairy tale world. So looking back, it's just like, yeah, I did think that life like that was unreachable, unattainable. I wasn't able to attain a fairy tale Disney princess royalty lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? I think her playing Ariel is a great message. And I think it's going to be a great movie and I cannot wait to see it. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm, I wish it wasn't so far away. But y'all know what? The time right now, time is going so fast. When it hits one o'clock, I swear to you, the day is over. The day is over. Like, please, I'll see you tomorrow because I didn't get nothing done. Now, time is just going so fast. So cherish it. Cherish time because you cannot get it back. That's why I don't waste time on it be completely transparent i have not filmed a what will Coward do I, because <laughs> how can i sit here and tell y'all you know that nigga is dirty leave him alone you don't need me to tell you that you don't need me to tell you that you're gonna leave when you're ready i cannot sit here and tell you to leave this nigga alone when i'm not even doing it you know what i'm saying i can't i can't do that that would be fake i can give you any other advice but that now and that's like majority of the questions that are asked like how do you get over our breakup da, da, da. you'll leave when you're ready you know when you're ready you know what steps to take don't answer that phone when you know no caller id is calling <laughs> everything is on my face liquid up uh, so now where i'm just gonna start setting the face and i'm gonna take this sephora micro smooth powder and this is the key y'all so what i'm going to do is well in daytime i really don't like to look that cakey so i'm not really gonna bake my face but i kind of need to a little bit on my t-zone 
Um, so I'm just gonna apply this first. And I do this as well when I'm like actually beating my face, you know, beat. I put this on first. And then I'll go in with my setting powder, which I'm gonna mix. I'm gonna mix with the Givenchy um, Prism in the color um, Rose. It's the pink one. Hopefully this caught on camera because my camera stopped recording. But um, so I mix the Givenchy with the Laura Mercier Translucent and I'm just gonna put a thin layer and put this. Not too much, not too much, not too much, okay? Oh my God, my neighbor just lit a purple. <laughs> yeah, going back to the aerial comments, we do everything 10 times up better anyways, cause that's why, that's why they're really mad. That's really why they're mad. She said, I don't know what you're doing. I'm putting my blinds up. <laughs> Pretty much it. And I'm gonna just put a little bit of bronzer on my lid. Um, but like I said, not too much because it's really not that deep. Cute, nice and subtle. Now I'm gonna go in with a liquid highlighter and I'm gonna take the Pillow Talk Charlotte Tilbury wand. But I kind of want to see which one I want to do because I kind of want to try out this Refi. It doesn't really have shimmer to it. It's like a, it's like a, a shine. Yeah, I like this. I like it. I like a Picasso. <laughs> Just done it. Comment below your favorite looks from New York Fashion Week, y'all. Lori Harvey ate. Lori Harvey snack. She literally ate every single look. I I don't know how I feel about the pink skirt like all the way up by her boobs because i'm just you know but she looks good but i just that was the only one that was the only outfit that i was questionable about but everything else eat eating how would be one that i get to experience something like that I'm gonna finish up with the lip i've been really liking the rare beauty lip liner in the color it's a dark brown i believe this is world but it's the brown one And I got y'all, I went out last night. Uh uh. The club scene is not for me anymore. I like a good lounge. I love a good lounge, but mm -mm. the club, please, I'm going home. I, I can't. I can't do it. I got like 30 minutes. The pressure is getting worse. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Pore Kisser and, uh, yeah, Latte Lips. Yo, your mama. Your mom is so old, she breastfeeds like this. <laughs> I don't know what made me used to go with that. Mm, my face is kind of sitting. Not kind of, she is. What am I saying? Okay. Spray this. Scent of the day, I'm gonna do because I'm going for a cozy vibe. So I'm gonna do Ebony Woods mixed with the tobacco vanillier. So good. Uh, I know I'm gonna be having this on all the time for the fall. I just have on my Jenny Kane Fisherman Cashmere hoodie. It's so soft. I know I'm gonna be living in this for a fall time. So make sure you guys check out Jenny Kane. And then I just paired it with my gold jewelry as always. And yeah, and then also my gold hoop earrings. So and that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please take care of your mental health because it takes a lot of strength to acknowledge that you need, you know, you need to change and that you're not okay. And it's okay. It takes a lot of strength. You are not weak for that. You are very much a strong person and it will get better. Trust me. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I love y'all so much and I'll see y'all next video. You can't take the world in